So today's entry is light. And the approach that I want to take with this is the fact that there's definitely been a trend towards lighter role-playing setups over the last, I don't know, decade or so. Now, this is obviously in stark contrast with some of the chart hells that were around in the late 90s and kind of tapered off in the early 2000s, where you needed to have a chart or or a detailed rule set for just about everything. Now, some of this has been accelerated with the rise of old-school-style play coming more and more to prominence, but I'd say it's more of a case of art always responding to other art. A lot of people want a more wanted a more pick up and play approach, and I'd say one of the things that definitely pushed things in this regard is the notion of the of the um, rented table. Like in in certain areas, you would see more and more the option of renting a booth or renting a table um, to pl- to play all manner of board games. And I think some of that kind of affected the tabletop RPG realm as well, since you wanted ones that were going to have an easy amount of setup. Something else that definitely helped contribute to this is, of course, the rise of virtual tabletop, where a lot of the stuff you could do at an actual table couldn't do, be done quite as well on, vir- on virtual. It's not that it couldn't be done, it's just that it's going to be a little bit tricky. Now, when it comes to whether or not this is a good or a bad thing, I am on neither side of that camp. I find it to be just a thing. And while I've certainly had my criticisms when it comes to the streaming trend that we're currently in, although it's more like a bubble if you ask me, that is neither here nor there. For me, the the focus is that this is just a thing. And it's a thing that you don't necessarily have to dip into. I mean, there's still people who will play Rollmaster. There's still people who will play, God help them, Phoenix Command. Although I've yet to find anybody willingly willingly playing Phoenix Command, but that's beside the point. But there is a there is room for rules light games, and there always has been room for rules light games. What I'm seeing from some, however, is this notion that being a rules-like game is somehow better because you're not weighed down by so many rules. I do not agree with this sentiment one bit. This is why I said that having a lighter rule set isn't a good or a bad thing. It's just a thing. Because there are ways to do things right, and there's ways to do things wrong with a complicated or crunchy rule set. And the same applies to a lighter rule set. You can, for instance, go too light For your own good. It ultimately depends on what you're trying to do. And whether or not a lighter rule set. Is compatible with what you're trying to do. Or if you need a little bit more crunch. There is no universal magic bullet. It is interesting to see. The lighter RPG um, scenes. That are propping up within certain countries. I'd say this is largely a consequence of barely having enough room for the full-on table with the miniatures and all that that some of us are used to. That's why I think this whole whole thing of um, light RPGs being the thing these days, that's overblowing it a little bit. What you're seeing is a culmination of several disparate elements coming together. Whether Whether it be setup time, whether it be accessibility, or what have you. But I vehemently detest this idea that there's some inherent value to a game's crunchiness or lack thereof. There isn't. That value is only subjective, and since it's subjective, it's in a case of, I don't care. I'm only forced to care because people keep bringing up that kind of thing, and it honestly gets a little annoying. Look, there's all different kinds of of games out there. And there's no reason that there should be some one true way approach when it comes to how people game. Let people who want chocolate eat chocolate. Let people who want vanilla eat vanilla. And let me have have some strawberry ice cream for once. 